Hi guys, I'm back again today with shopping by bicycle in the Netherlands versus Australia. Ooh, okay, there's a comparison. So I'm intrigued. Um, I didn't even realize, I mean, every country or every place in the world, we have like a bicycle culture-ish, but I've never heard about Australia. So this is going to be interesting to see the comparison. Let's get it. Um. Oh, it's there, my Tommy. <laughs> uh, my name is Laura Steenen, and I arrived by bike. <laughs> my name is Sip, and of course, I arrived uh, on my bicycle. This was. Seven years ago that they uploaded this video. Um, that awkward pause in the beginning before they start talking is something, something, something. It's definitely okay. something. Um, my name is Julianne and um, I ride by bike. Tom is my name. Um, and uh, I came uh, with the bike from my home to, uh, to my work in the center. Oh, my name, that doesn't matter. Just like Francoise. <laughs> I came here with my bike. <laughs> my name is Pauline, and I arrived on my bike. <laughs> He's doing it already. Feels it, As we saw. That's we okay. did, did it fit? You make me feel jealous now. <laughs> uh, I'm Nart. I'm Brom. And uh, we are riding bike here today. Uh, my name is Manon and I arrived first by train and then got my bike from the train station and got here. Yes, I walk, I live very near, very close. Under, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, about five kilometers. Uh... It's about that distance, yeah. yeah. No, but I've been riding uh, quite a lot to what go to uh, a biking to uh, friend, but I am living in the in the neighborhood. Uh, no, I think about three. Uh, I think I think so. <laughs> I think we passed five already. Yeah, yeah, we recycled a lot today. Yeah, yeah. I think like that. Yeah. Under five kilometers to get here from the sa train station. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I don't have a car here, <laughs> and it's also always hard to find a parking spot. And and, and I think it's better to, to drive your bicycle to the supermarket because uh, in the city it's very hard. It's kind of like a maze to get to your supermarket. So if you live in the city, it's better to use this steel than some other steel. <laughs> um, well, first of all, I don't own, own a car. and. Um, well, my house is like literally across a, a couple of hundred meters, and I came from college, so that's why before I went home, I stopped to go grocery shopping. And it's much easier to go by bike and healthier. Well, why should I? Never take a car if it's not necessary. I have no car. I only have a bike. <laughs> it's not really necessary to uh, use a car when you can just do it by bike. Because it's hard to park and you don't want to pay the tickets. Oh, let's hear this. This is actually not that cheap. My friend got cheaper bikes. I paid like 140 by the time I bought it. Uh, this bike cost okay. me two and a half hundred euros. Um, Thank you. Well, it's second hand, so I think it's about 70, 80 euros, something like that. About about 350 euros. Whoa, he shelled out. I bought it new. The bag? Yep, very cheap. 
this bike is 10 years old? Uh, it was free because uh, before uh, it was. Free. I think, like, if I'm buying a bike, I think the maximum I'll pay for it is 150 euros, dollars, whatever. Um, I, for me, because. Like, if it gets stolen, yes, it's gonna hurt, but it's not gonna sting so much as, uh, as like, somebody who spent 300 euros or more, right? Even 200, I'll be like, okay, fine, fine, yeah. but 300 and above, I'm gonna start crying. I'm gonna, <laughs> and I don't even think I need a fancy bike, right? probably need something that works and it will last a while right and then if it gets stolen i'm just like oh, fudge it was from my mother so i got it from my mother <laughs> Fair i just one from my mother but i guess how much did the uh, bike cost you uh, 40 euros 200 okay. you got money oh it's my mom's so nothing <laughs> I prefer going by bike just because I like to move and I uh, think it's environmental friendlier than going by car. No, because we don't have any place for that, so <laughs> we don't have uh, we have the space. So no, definitely not because well, first of all, for the for the environment, it's all the pollution, and second of all, um, how do you say exercise? It's, this is the only exercise I get once a day, so I think it's better to drive bikes than cars. Uh, no, 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 no. Would absolutely be no place for all those uh, cars. So it's a, uh, but uh, it's typically a supermarket for the for the uh, for the town. You you can't park your car here. Yeah. Everything you have to do with a bike, and it's very nice. This way. But you have to to have big. Bags and uh, quite uh, the, the good um, way to, to take a lot of things. Um, no, it's it's very healthy to go on your bike, and also in the city, it's far easier and faster to go on your bike. No, you cannot fit all this car. No, that shouldn't no, definitely not do it. <laughs> no, I agree. Yeah. yeah, I think they should just walk. Exactly. <laughs> Great minds think alike. <laughs> no, no bike paths. No, we are definitely need to keep the bikes, the bike paths as well. Yeah, smart. Oh, that's long already. What? No bicycle? Brad Howe and I'm driving. My name's Emily and I drove. My name is Matt. Normally I take the car because I do the bigger shopping. Uh, Chris, I drive here. Uh, my name is Kerry and I arrived here today by car. Um, Penny and Lola and we drove today. I'm Peter and I arrived here in my car. Okay, Dominic Coleman and I came by car. It's cold or windy. Today. Yes. Today. Yes. No. Under five it's kilometers, and it just be a car. Yeah. While some people in uh, yes. Netherlands are yes. like five yes. kilometers and even more, yes, but the bike. And I was like, it's quicker. Because <laughs> I got groceries. Normally I walk. They probably like live like in the next block. And they took their car. I mean, yeah, if you're gonna buy a lot, okay, makes sense. But sometimes I just walk, right? Even if I'm gonna buy a lot, like I'm carrying like three bags and I'm just walking. If I'm going to the closest grocery store, because I'm like, why am I gonna pay? And there's no like jeepney route in that place. And I'm not gonna like take the opportunity to not 
walk right so unless it's raining and it's like disaster outside but most of the time i sold my bicycle like three months ago because it's freaking freezing <laughs> Uh, my bikes, uh, I've just come well, back from sea bike, and will, my bike's got flat tyres so it takes me a couple of minutes to pump them up every time I come back from sea. Because I've got my little one and it's windy and it's cold and it's nearly dark. Some heavy parcels. So I just finished work and I didn't want to ride a bicycle or walk here. <laughs> so different. The car, uh, 6000 bucks. I couldn't tell you. 35, I think. 35,000? Yeah. I don't know. And it's a, a company like car. The hundreds, so. Oh, it was uh, 20, 20 grand, yeah? About six or seven years ago. Yeah. Oh, uh, 15 grand, I think. Oh, I don't know. Somewhere under 20 grand? 20 grand. Uh, 42,000. Probably. Yes. Definitely. It's horrible to ride a bicycle in Sydney. It's absolutely dangerous. The car drivers are not used to it. Therefore, I sold my bicycle that I brought over from Switzerland. And we definitely need more um, special lines for bicycles and more safety rules for bicycles and car drivers who have a better understanding for bicycles. For sure, I was cycling heaps and then I actually got really worried and there were a couple of incidents in the city, so I've, I've kind of stopped doing it now. Yeah, I reckon that, and I reckon they should relax the um, helmet laws as well, it's just so people will more likely more, more likely to wear their, uh, ride their bikes if they don't have to have all that get up on as well. Just like in Shanghai, I lived in Shanghai for a while, so everybody rode their bikes over there and it was a lot more casual and it would work better. Absolutely. 100% yes. Yeah, yes. Uh, they'd pr probably be handy. Bye bye. Zero. Bye car. I guess um, I've been to the Netherlands. You're pr probably more likely to use a bike there because the distances are less less greater. You say the distances though are greater here, but for example, to get to the shops, most people probably live only one or two kilometres from their local supermarkets. Is there anything to add about that though? Uh, yeah, we're basically lazy. Like, you know, I'm just going to admit it. And it's also laziness due to the country's like structure. So if, of course, it was developed in a way that bicycles were, like they had bicycle routes or routes or whatever you call it, of course people would be more willing to ride their bikes everywhere, like how the Netherlands is structured right so then the way that the countries are structured creates the people culture for laziness as well that makes sense oh, it's okay. one of them and the maintenance for cars are even more 200 It was uh, 20, 20 grand, yeah? Uh, no, 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 no. Would absolutely be no place for all those uh, cars, so. Uh, my name's David and I travel to the shop to buy a wheelchair. Did you travel under five kilometres to get here today? 
Under 5 k's, yes. Okay. Obviously everything's designed for cars and walking and everything. What's it actually like? Is it a challenge to drive this thing around here? Depends on the state of the footpaths. No. It can be hard at times. I wouldn't take a child with me unless I was on a bike lane. Vehicles here are too aggressive and don't see uh, cyclists having a right of way on the street. So I wouldn't take my child on the back of my bike. Do you think we should have more bike lanes and more bike parking to encourage people to cycle to the shops instead? Hell yeah. Cars are taking over these roads and they're, they're killing pedestrians as well as themselves. So, um, you know, roads have got to be made more friendly for people because the way things are going, um, more people are going to be killed on these roads because of the, because of the, the cars and, and the um, disrespect for cyclists and other people who with um, who are trying to use alternative transport. So he, uh, I thought it was biking. Is this in Australia? do ride bikes the bike culture there is a, it's okay because your tr tr uh, subway or train transportation is so impeccable the bike culture is not as you know crazy i mean netherlands also has a great um bus and train transportation but they some of them use bikes okay some not a lot i didn't see a lot of people especially in tokyo of course it's like crazy but outside of tokyo there were more people who rode bikes and uh, the people maybe because i don't know what it is are they not allowed to like ring ring like they are, i don't know if they're not allowed to ring their bells or something but they just don't say anything i mean they don't do anything they don't say they don't make any noise so you don't know that they're bikes and also they don't have bike lanes or maybe we don't know which one is the bike lane because it's so confusing so there are a couple of times that you know i got i was about to get hit by a bike because i don't know where to go and they're not doing anything or saying anything they're not making any sounds so you don't know that they're behind you it's so frustrating like you can go cring cring and then i'll move your way but they don't they just like stay there <laughs> and i'm like okay <laughs> sorry Oh, the sound, okay. I was like, what am I watching? Maybe it's so quiet and peaceful. happened to the sound i think this is a place where those um people who fish out for something whoa, whoa, whoa. 
this is what we're talking about. Like, maybe we should write to a government, a local government. But they are kind of like you know improving the cycling lanes in the main part of the city. So that's good. It's it looks better. Uh, maybe in five years it will be better than now. We'll see. But thank you guys for joining, and I'll see you guys on Monday. So no uploads on Saturday, Sunday, but I'll see you again on Monday. Bye.